Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in this video, I would like to show you a few ways on how you can uh, embed a Visio diagram on a SharePoint page. Um, there are plenty of use cases for this. You know, sometimes you might have uh, like a, an org chart or some sort of process defined in your Visio diagram, and I actually have one, one over here in this file. Uh, let me open it, uh, you know, for you, and so you can see it. So here is my file, and what I would like to do now is actually embed this diagram on a SharePoint page. All right, you could be building um, uh, obviously some sort of SharePoint site, maybe an intranet, maybe a project management office, you know, site, uh, and you might want to display uh, once again uh, a process or an org chart or anything else and you have in that diagram on the page. So two ways to do this, and I will show you both and then I'll explain to you kind of pros and cons uh, of each. So the first option is to utilize the file and media web part. It's actually uh, the same uh, web part you would be using to embed um, uh, like a PowerPoint or Word document or Excel uh, on a SharePoint page as well. So um, let me uh, click the plus sign. Uh, once again, the web part you want to use is file and media. And the way it works, essentially, it's asking you to um, immediately, you know, choose the file you want to embed. You can upload it, but we already have it on a site in this library, I believe, right here. All right, that's the file we want to embed uh, on our page. So I'm going to click select, and uh, yeah, essentially this is it. Uh, there is really no, you know, additional configuration uh, in here. So we are ready to republish. So that's what it looks like. That's option number one. Uh, the second option would be to utilize the embed web part, and this is where you have to supply the embed code for this particular, um, you know, file. Uh, to so first step, we actually need to generate this embed code. Let's do that. So we're first navigating to the file uh, itself. So I just opened this um, Visio uh, file. And uh, what you you need to do is, um, you know, essentially make sure it's in the view uh, only mode. You know, so we're not making any edits or anything like that. Uh, then you click on three dots and right here, embed, you see. And uh, essentially, yeah, this is the embed code. You can, you know, grab the embed URL. I always prefer the iframe uh, code. So I'm going to copy that and close, and I think we're done with uh, this file for now. I'm going to go back to the page. Uh, let's uh, embed it right underneath and see um, what it looks like. So over here, I'm going to now utilize the embed widget right here. All right, remember we used this one last time. Now we're going to utilize the embed widget. And all you need to do is just literally uh, you know, paste uh, the code. Here we go. And it will pretty much uh, allow you to embed that particular, um, you know, embed code, uh, that particular file uh, on your page. You will notice it looks a bit different. I'll mention that uh, in a second. But uh, this is actually the same widget that you would use to um, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, embed any maybe external resources, right? It could be any kind of embed code, you know, URL uh, that you have. So they look a bit different. I think the, the first option is looks a bit nicer, but let me explain to you kind of, uh, you know, the difference between the two. Um, I think you should go ahead and experiment, uh, you know, and see which option works best for you. Um, but here's the difference between, uh, you know, the major difference between these two options. Uh, let me click on the edit page again. And um, remember, with the first option, we used uh, the file and media, uh, you know, web part. Let me see. Here we go. All right. And uh, yeah, with this option, uh, there is really nothing to configure. The only thing you can do is just, you know, point to a different, uh, you know, file. Uh, what I like about the second option, and it might, you know, make sense in some cases, uh, but, uh, you know, first of all, you can kind of toggle the switch and, you know, experiment with different, you know, sizes of this. Uh, but another thing you can do, you can actually, 
uh, play around with some of this, uh, you know, dimensions on here. Uh, if you maybe want to increase or decrease the size uh, of how much, you know, your diagram takes on the page. Uh, so uh, let's see. I, I mean, we'll try some uh, random numbers. Here we go. Uh, let me see if this, uh, you know, will help. Uh, all right. I guess um, it did not. Let me see if I can, uh, you know, try something like this. Here we go. You see? That's much, much better. Remember how much extra space I had, uh, like on top and bottom? You see, it's uh, much better now in terms of the look and feel. So that's essentially what I meant, you know, when you, you know, I said you can um, play around with some of those, you know, settings in here. Again, not a lot, but uh, something, all right? So let me republish it. So here we go. Yeah, with this second option, uh, you see, uh, I think in my opinion, it's a much better display because we have uh, less of the edges. So you might need to play with it a little bit. All right, uh, that's pretty much everything. Now, um, one thing I wanted to mention, and that's really cool uh, you know, about this, um, you do not need, the users do not need um, a Visio license uh, to be able uh, essentially to view the diagrams on the page. So you obviously need a license, you know, if you are going to start making changes, right? If you want to utilize the Visio file and, you know, start editing the diagram, um, you know, in browser or, you know, desktop and so on. But uh, if you just embed your uh, Visio diagram on the page, um, view only mode does not require any licensing. So that's really cool because this will allow you to share your processes and everything uh, pretty much uh, free of charge. All right. So that's all I really wanted to mention in this video. Hopefully you learned uh, something new. Is always happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Goodbye.